Android 18 and Krillin make an incredibly nice couple. However, there is a question that a lot of fans have been wondering about Android 18. How can Android 18 have a baby when she's an android? Hello everyone, it's your favourite queen, Android18 here, and welcome to another Dragon Ball discussion video. So, I'm going to start this by by going over some of the information about me and the other androids. So, essentially, if you remember, well, you may not know, in the manga, essentially, the androids are known as artificial humans. And I believe that's also the case with the Japanese version of the anime too. So... What is the difference between the words android and artificial human? Well, an android kind of implies that they're mostly like, they're kind of like robots and humans at the same time, but they're kind of more internally robotic. Because generally androids are known as like, mostly robotic with, you know, human skin and things like that. However, artificial humans are a little different. They're more human than android, if that makes sense. Like, for example, me and Seventeen and all the other androids' bodies basically have metal in them and different materials that enhance our strength and also help us age slower. However, something interesting to note is that me and Seventeen and Sixteen had a bomb inside of us at some point in the series. Essentially, when we were woken up by Jiro, he had already implanted a bomb within us and my sweetie Krillin, once all the cell business was over, he spoke to Shenron and he wished for Shenron to remove my bomb and Seventeen's bomb, which was really sweet of him low-key, but at the time I was kind of mad with him, so I gave him the cold shoulder, but he was sweet and I thanked him. And yeah, if you're wondering where Sixteen's bomb went, if you don't remember, Bulma actually took it out when they repaired him, and that's why he didn't blow Sal up when he meant to. But yeah, on to the topic at hand. Essentially, from what I can gather, when Krillin made his wish to remove my bomb, I believe my bomb was probably paced within my stomach somewhere. Although I knew I had one in me, I didn't know where it was. But I'm thinking that it was in that kind of area. So that would explain that fiasco. And also, just because we're androids, it doesn't mean Dr. Jiro took out all of our, like, internal organs and things like that. Like, although I am an android, I still have blood and I still have organs. And although I don't run out of energy, uh, I still have, you know, all the organs a normal person would have. So I guess that explains how I could have a baby. Although it'd be slightly more complicated with if Krillin didn't remove my bomb. I believe it was the bomb placed inside of me that stopped me originally being able to have children. But when my sweetie Krillin got rid of the bomb, I believe, yeah, I believe that was the factor that made me able to have a child. And we love our Marin. But yeah, that's what I think about the situation and I hope I managed to answer some of your questions. So yeah, although we are androids and we do have like machinery within us, we basically have extremely advanced machinery which doesn't really affect our normal human functions and, and only really amplifies our strengths and rather than our weaknesses. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button in the face and yeah, let me know that you enjoyed it and also comment another topics and theories you want me to discuss about Dragon Ball, and I hope you have a great day. If you're not aware, I also have a Discord server, the link to it will be in the description below, and also the link to my Twitter if you want to follow me on there. Also, if you want to support me on Patreon, the link in the description, it's there. <laughs> YouTube hasn't monetized me yet, but I've reapplied for monetization, so hopefully, um, they will accept it at some point, but if you want to help support me, the channel directly, then yeah, just it's in the description. But just watching my videos and liking them helps so much. If you want to help the channel and you can't do Patreon or anything like that, it's perfectly okay. Just make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, comment on the video about how I can improve, and also share the videos, my videos with your friends. Basically, the more people who watch it, the more I get recommended and the bigger the channel grows. And I also want to thank you all for all your continued support. More importantly though, I hope you have an amazing day. And also, don't forget everyone, subscribe to me because I'm definitely 18.